Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hacking Self Storage. So today I've got a new microphone set up. So hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. You can see it on the camera. There. It's a road one. Oh, it's an expensive one. We, we've really gone all the bells and whistles here. We're really going for it. Okay, my friends. So we're talking Clough Road prices. And by the way, tomorrow, what we're doing is we're looking back at historical data. So how is the state of play in the industry now? How are we performing compared to over years are we better or worse and i was listening to a podcast a marketing podcast yesterday and they were saying the problem what we've got is that we're comparing our our data this year to last year and the year before we shouldn't be because that was covid that was a special time whether whatever industry it has an impact it can have a positive or a negative. Very, very few in, uh, industries just flatlined and stayed the same through COVID. So what we've got to do is we've got to go back and we've got to compare times when there was no COVID. So for me, I've got to compare in 2019 um, and look at the data in 2019 and compare it to this year. Don't get me wrong. I will be having a look at COVID data as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I'm going to be recording that later on this um, yeah, later, later on today, I'll be recording. I'll be recording that. So I'm really looking forward to actually going through the data. Right. So talking about data, let's have a look at Clough Road. Last week, we had seven quotes on Clough Road. Don't forget, you don't get many quotes now because when we have a quote, then it's the already another location and another price because we put prices online. So when they get in contact with us, we consider that as a quote. So we mark it down. So number of quotes last week was seven. Number of reservations were seven so we had a hundred percent conversion rate last week well done team do 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 doosh i don't know what that was but doosh it's what you call it and it does that uh oh, i love him anyway i forgot his name um so we reserved 640 square foot last week as well so that's the best we've done for well two weeks <laughs> um so yeah, it was 640. It, it, we probably could do with a little bit more reservations. I always say that seven re reservations is par for Clough Road. It's definitely par. Um, so number of move-ins, we also had seven. So that's a conversion rate of quotes to move-ins of seven. We moved in 800 square foot last week. So not too bad considering that Willoughby, a bigger, the bigger site, uh, only moved in, or well, only 965 or 955 last week. So yeah, not too shabby at all. Number of move outs. Let's have a look where the hell the move outs. Oh, yes. Lovely, jubbly. We had 75 square foot move out last week. So I knew it was good. And we only moved out 75 square foot. So that's good. So you mathematic mathematicians. Oh, God. Just, uh, you, you clever people. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you will know that we moved, we, we gained 725 square foot because we had no extra movings. So 725 square foot. In the last two weeks, we have gained 1,075 square foot. So we're having, we're having a resurgence at Clough Road. It is starting to really, really rock and roll. The, the week before that, we was down 160. Uh, so last five weeks, read like this. 350 square foot up, 50 square foot up, 160 square foot down, 350 up and 725 up. So we're really starting to motor now. In in the last in the last month, I suppose, we're well over a thousand square foot up. So yeah, really good data there. Let's have a look at some other interesting data on the store front. Oh, um, let's have a look. How did the and by the way, every single person heard of us from Google last week, which is ugh, interesting. Um, obviously, we don't want all our quotes come from Google, but that's the way it seems to be this week. Right. So if we look at our re uh, gross revenue, our gross revenue is £11,588.74 so far taking this, this month. Uh, our monthly reoccurring revenue, it's just gone down the sneaky little so-and-so from yesterday. It's £22,949.71 MRR, and that's up by nearly 3.54% oh, 3 from this time, 35 for uh, 30 days ago. Our occupancy. Now, I don't get this. Oh, I, I do get this occupancy, but the problem is I don't agree with the way it's shown. One second. Let's have a quick drink of my tea, Yorkshire tea. Lovely, jubbly. Um, yeah, because as I said last week, it display when, when you put in the details uh, and reserve a room, then it counts as occupied. That's the problem. So it's already taken into consideration stuff that might be coming in December. And and then last month, it'll have been taken in, into account um, s uh, people who were going to come in this month. And so it's never, I just, it's it's not, 
it's not really accurate for me. It has to, I, I, I do keep saying this, but I, I, I will have to, I'll, I'll obviously give me opinions. I, I just feel like that for me and for you, I, I haven't, I don't know anybody who, who wants to know what, what accounts people who aren't even in yet, who are reserved, but aren't even in. Um, I, I just want to know who's in my self storage facility now, who's paying, who's paying because I don't care about the, well, I do care about them obviously, but for words, Oh, my son's just come in. Um, I do care about, um, Hey buddy. Yeah, so I I don't I don't want to know about people who haven't are paying yet. I only want to know about people who are paying because they're paying my bills, they're paying. Here I okay? You come and say hi. Hello. I'll just do quickly, quick, quick, say hi. Hello. Oh yeah, look at you there. He's growing it. He wants to be Jack Grealish. Okay, so on to the next one. The next one, um, so occupancy, by the way, is 58.85%. It's only gone up 1% from 30 days ago. 30 days ago, it's 57.83. However, right, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> one second. Uh, he just thought he could play pool while I am recording the podcast, which you can't, can you? Right, so what we're doing, buddy, we're going through the figures here. Here's the data. Oh, crikey, I've gone wrong. There we go. How professional is this podcast? This is really professional. Yeah, so the occupancy levels. So it's only gone up a pattern from last 30 days ago. However, the 30 days was, um, it it was taken into consideration people who have come. So it's, it's very, very, who are due to come. It's very, very hard to compare. I know mum's shouting now. Now, now the wife's shouting. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is bad even for me in professionalism. This is terrible. Right, so occupancy is going in the right direction. However, it's not showing yet on the storefront because it's already counted people who was previously reserved and stuff and oh, allocated the room, etc. But ultimately, the great thing is at the end of the month, I can show you how many square foot we've gained. Um, so yeah, it is. I'll tell you our occupancy at the minute and the, the lad's gone out the man cave now. So basically, this is this was an annex uh, in our house. It's, it's detached from the actual house and I've knocked it down and made it into a man cave stroke office and, uh, and I can hear the wife. Can't, you can't go in there. And then, <laughs> anyway, right. So at the minute, we've got 10,370 uh, square foot that have been reserved, uh, that's moved in. So we've, I, I believe this is the actual figure. So 10,003. Oh, is it the actual? Let's have a look. Uh, if, if, what I'll do is I'll find out if it's not exactly what we, I don't know if 10,370 divided by uh, the total. Square foot we've got is seventeen thousand six hundred and twenty. Yeah, so it's I don't I don't know if that's the actual amount or I well it's clearly not the actual amount. That's how many is reserved and stuff. But yeah, it's com as as you can see, it's com it's complicated. Right, so let's get back to the rate per square foot. The rate per square foot is eighteen pound seventy seven. That has gone up surprisingly one pound uh, one point eight six percent. So uh, not very much. It was gone up from eighteen pound forty two. Um, I expect that to continue to be around about 17, 18 because we're playing occupancy at the minute. We're not playing revenue. So the main driver for me is get everybody, get occupancy levels up and then we can do our revenue management. Then we can really, really go for it when we, and when I say go for it, I just mean correctly price the storage because at the minute it is too cheap. Um, what other data have I going to tell you? I can tell you something else that I know you're interested in. So last week we had 19 reservations and we had one, two, three, four, five, six, six of us, six, six of us divided by 19 actually booked without any communication with us whatsoever, without any touch points. And so that's 31.57%. So let's round it up. 32% sounds better. 32% of people who booked, um, booked online and didn't you didn't need us at all the other people there was there's a few who called and booked came in and booked saw prices that called and booked so we've got all the data here because i just want to keep an eye on this data uh, somebody used us before called in september to book uh, but it was too early fold up and booked uh, brother used us uh, came in for a quote yeah so I, I like to keep an eye on this data just so i can see um exactly how people are booking at what stage of follow up of a follow up process they are they are booking etc um so i think it's useful is there any other data that i can actually show you and tell you about there isn't there isn't uh, we are getting very very close by the way to signing a new site and i can't wait to tell you all about it because it is beautiful it's so exciting just got some quotes through it's a bloody expensive first phase half a mil over half a million pound first phase oh, wow wow anyway 
All right, my friends, I love you. I appreciate you. And I am very, very sorry that I am not more professional. <laughs> I mean, I, I, do, I genuinely I don't normally feel bad about not being professional, but this one is is like, there's people playing snooker behind me, pool, there's a uh, wife shouting. Anyway, have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Can't wait for tomorrow's episode. See you soon. Bye.